Hi, and in this Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fit lots of text onto one page using three different techniques. So depending how much you want to fit on your page will depend on which technique you need to use. So I've just inserted some random text here, and what the aim is to do is to get it all onto this first page here. So the first most obvious thing to do is to simply highlight your text, go up to the Home tab, and either use the figures here to increase or decrease the size of your text or you can use these two icons here. So I'm going to use this decrease font size icon and just click on it until I get the desired result. What this means is that you will reduce the size of your font but if it hasn't reduced too much and you're happy with it then that technique will work for you. Alternatively you can increase the size of your margins. Go up to the Layout tab, go along to Margins, click on the drop down and select Narrow. And again, those margins will increase so that you can get your entire text on your page. Now, if it doesn't look right for you, you can adjust those margins. If you simply go up to Margins, click on the drop down and go down to Custom Margins. In here you'll be presented with this dialog box where you can adjust all of your different margins to whatever depth, height and size you want. Then once you've done it just click OK and it will adjust those sides, sizes accordingly. Usually for this one you just ignore it and then as long as your printer can print to the edges then you'll be fine. The next technique is to go up to the insert tab Go along to text box, click on the drop down and select draw text box. Then just click and drag a large text box anywhere in your document. Then select all the text you need to get onto the one page. Copy it by command or control C. Double click inside your text box so that your cursor appears. Then press paste command or control V. All your text will now be in this box. Just get rid of that text, the original text, highlight it and press delete. And then we can move this text box anywhere we want to. And we can increase or decrease the size of that text box to ensure you can get all the words on the page. To get rid of the border, all you need to do is click on the text box, go up to Shape Format, go up to this icon here, click on the drop down and select No Outline. And then you'll just be left with the text. And again with the title, because the margins are quite wide here, go along to the edge here and then in between this white and grey section your cursor will change to a double-ended arrow. Click and drag that up and you can decrease the size of that top margin, giving you a little bit more room on your page. The margins again are too wide, just decrease the size of your text box. It will mean that you'll need to extend it at the bottom. Then if you want to ensure this text box is in the middle of your page, just simply go up to Shape Format. If that Shape Format doesn't appear, it's because you haven't highlighted your text box or selected your text box. Then just go up to the Alignment tool, click on the drop down and select Align to Center. And that will align your text into the center of your page. If this doesn't allow you to get all of your text on the page, then again, you're going to have to reduce the font size. There is one more technique that you can use, which is slightly more challenging, and that's to reduce the spacing between your lines. So the way to do that is highlight the text that you want to alter. Make sure you're on the Home tab, Go to this icon here, click on the drop down and then go down to line spacing options. Here in the dialog box, if you go down to spacing and then in this section here, just click the down arrow and it will default to 0.5. I don't believe that you can go down to 0.5 because the letters overlap. I think the lowest you can go to is 0.7, then click OK and it will nudge it up, but it doesn't look great. If I just zoom in it's quite tight. It is a possibility if you're really desperate but it is really tight. If we just choose a slightly higher one of 0.9 and click OK and then that's a little bit more appealing but I think it's not far off what it was before. It doesn't give you huge amounts of space but it may work. 
So for you, you can go through those figures and figure out what works for you. But again, that's another option. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.